In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the relatively easy process of updating the firmware on a HeerLink ground unit and air unit. So you can see I've got both units here and powered. Uh, there's no antennas attached, but that's, that's not necessary when they're so close together. So first turn on the HeerLink, um, and we can already see that there's an update available message here. That's because this is a new unit, and I have also connected already to Wi-Fi. So it's connected to my home Wi-Fi. Now, um, if you didn't immediately see this ready for update message, you could pull down from the top, and there's also an update available message. Another way to get to this screen is actually to pull down from the top, press the little gear icon, then go right down to the bottom to about phone, and then the very top item here is also system updates. So any one of those methods will get you to this screen. Just push the check for update button, and I can see here that my current version is, starts with FR, and the new version starts with JP. Now I'm based in Japan, and the Japan units should all have JP at the beginning. Next, I push the update button. I think I'll turn down the brightness a little bit so you can see it better. Next, we're going to update the air unit firmware. So we pull down from the top, select radio status, and first thing is just to make sure that they're paired. And this is a new unit, so they're not paired. So I'm just going to push that pairing button. I'm going to push this pair reset button on the receiver. There we go. There we are. Now we can see they're paired. So next we can go to the air unit page. Now we can see there's two versions here. And if you look very closely, the online version and the local version don't match. So uh, we can upgrade them. First thing we do is push this download air firmware button. And then we push the transfer to air unit button. And finally we can update the air unit. Okay, so the update is done. If we look here, we'll notice that the, the versions still don't match. This is actually a little issue with this update software. So if we go back and re-enter again, go to the air unit. Now we'll see the two numbers are the same. 